great gauge for the quality of taupo winter fishing must be the bridge pool below State Highway 1 bridge at Turingi, and this winter it has been going off. If you stand on the bridge and watch for a few minutes, it's normally not long before someone's hooked up. The fish quality and quantity have been outstanding. Throughout August, the Tongariro and Taringataupo have been awesome, with heaps of rainbows pulsing through. As we move towards September, some darker fish have started appearing as the early spawners start to drop back to the lake. As has been the case throughout winter so far, the clear river conditions have made smaller natural patterns such as the heron coppers and pheasant tails a good choice. Having said that, we've also had some amazing sessions on soft egg patterns and the good old glow bugs. Kiwi Freestyle and Indicator Nymphing have been treating us pretty well, and it hasn't really mattered where we fished, they've all been good days. We recently ended up spending a day fishing with a couple of friends from the Manawatu. It was good to catch up with Ian, Warren and Bill. We all had a good day, and I even think Darren may have converted Ian to the dark side with a bit of Czech style encouragement. As usual, Darren was on fire, happily hooking fish while I messed around taking photos. Although, every now and then when watching Darren just got too much, I would put the camera down and have a fish myself.
With daylight saving not too far away now, I'm looking forward to the day stretching out and taking advantage of the extra light after work. September and October are often the best times to be hitting the Taupo rivers. The weather is warmer, there are truckloads of fish around, fresh spawners are still heading up the river and hungry post-spawning fish are dropping back into the lake. Best of all, everyone has gone nuts on backcountry options and the local Turangi rivers are relatively free of anglers. Can't wait.